it's impossible not to be won over by the wild nature of the Western Algarve. Its rugged coastline and vast stretches of breathtaking landscapes have charmed so many of those who've had the privilege of spending time here. Whilst maybe not as well known as other areas in the region, it really is worth taking the time to explore this beautiful part of Portugal. There's evidence that humans have had settlements here since at least the Bronze and Iron Ages, yet despite this, it has one of the most picturesque and best preserved coastlines in Europe. This region is also attracting a growing amount of attention as it's one of the only remaining areas of the Algarve where investment in residential property can qualify you for the Golden Visa. We're starting this second video in our series about life in the Algarve from the ruins of Castel de Algezur. From this historic site, you can take in some spectacular views of the town and surrounding countryside. With this area of the Algarve being just 20 minutes from the border of the rural Alandesia region, this spot is also a wonderful place to see the sunrise over the Monchique Mountains if you're an early riser. The town of Algezor, like many places in Portugal, is lined with cobbled streets and plenty of colourful houses. It is divided into two areas by the river it sits upon. The old town on one side of the river dates back to the 10th century, with a newer part of town on the other side dating back to the 17th century. Most of the cafes, restaurants, shops and a town market can be found close to the bridge that connects the two sides. The town is also home to the International School of Algezor, ideal if you're coming into the area with children. The Alzor River flows into the Atlantic Ocean through the beach of Amoreira, which is surrounded by sand dunes and plenty of rich vegetation including some rare and colourful plant species. You can follow the river that winds through the valley behind the beach inland to the long and narrow marshland populated by otters and birds. It is a great place for wildlife spotting during the spring and summertime. Just south along the cliffs, you'll find the beach of Montecleri, which has a large stretch of sand and an interesting rocky platform that emerges at low tide. This area receives its fair share of visitors, but there are fewer intense tourist crowds than in other parts of the south of Portugal, with most coming to the area to enjoy the secluded beaches, dramatic coastline, and take advantage of the waves which are ideal for surfing and other water sports. The western and southwestern Algarve arguably have some of the best spots for surfing in the country, with waves that can cater to all abilities breaking onto picturesque coastlines. The late autumn and early spring are the best times for surfing, when the waves are still reliable but the water isn't too cold. In the summer, the waters calm down, making them ideal for those who are new to surfing or just want to try it out. This area of Portugal is also ideal for hikers and cyclists. The Rota Vicentina spans across the south of the Alentejo and down the west coast of the Algarve. It has over a thousand kilometers of cycling routes and 750 kilometers of walking trails to enjoy. All of them with incredible views of the countryside and coast. The Western Algarve has mostly small villages and towns dotted amongst large swathes of open countryside. Among them is Vila do Bispo, which is a peaceful and laid back village with narrow streets and terraced houses. Perhaps the most famous town in the region, Sagres, sits on the southernmost tip of Portugal. This town is slightly bigger than others in the region, but it still has a very relaxed atmosphere. One important site in Sagres is its fortress, built in the 15th century to protect the town from raids. From this site, you can take in wonderful panoramic views of the ocean in nearby Cap de São Vicente. The marina of Sagres is nestled into a sheltered bay around two kilometers from the center of town. It houses plenty of fishing boats, as well as some bigger yachts and commercial boats. It's also said to be one of the best places to buy fresh fish in the region. Sagres is a town was historically thought of as a mythical place where the world ended. The name Sagres comes from Sagrado, meaning holy or sacred, showing just how important this place has been to those who've lived here throughout history. One of the most popular spots to the west of the town centre, Cap de São Vicente, is to this day known colloquially as O Fim do Mundo, or The End of the World. Cap de São Vicente has been a sacred place since the Neolithic times, with religious ceremonies taking place there for centuries. It was even said that humans were not allowed to go there after dark because during the night it was inhabited by the gods. Some also thought the setting sun coming down onto the ocean made the waters boil. The sunset is something that thousands of people each year come here to see, and it is well worth taking the trip to do so. The West Coast is a haven for those looking for peace, an ideal place to escape the frenzy and hecticness of the modern world whilst being close to the coast and surrounded by unspoiled nature. 
If you'd like to know more about the West Coast or other areas of the Algarve, please get in touch. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe to keep up to date with the series. Thank you.